Our next uh, special recognition item is welcoming new school leaders to the Ann Arbor Public Schools. Now we're welcoming you formally in front of a televised um, audience. You all have been working hard to get ready for this year in your new roles and we couldn't be more proud and more excited to have you leading really important buildings in our district. So I know Dr. Swift has some words prepared, but we're thrilled that you're here and we hope you are too still. I know it is a little crazy. <laughs> it will get less crazy, I promise, but um, this is really the best time of year for everybody. Everything's new and exciting and everyone's just full of opportunity and what's gonna happen this year. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Dr. Swift. Thank you, Madam President, trustees, members of the community. It's always such a great time of the year. The first board meeting after school opens. Uh, when we get to introduce to our community, uh, many of the trustees have already met them, our new principals. We have a group of five this year. Two of them were serving as interims in their role last year. Uh, so you'll notice that as we go through. So how this will work, and I can't really see all of them, but um, I know they've been coached, is we'll introduce each of you. So stand up and wave and we'll welcome you. And then when you're all done, we'll just do one photo. And then that makes it go a little more smoothly. But uh, we'll begin in alphabetical order by introducing Mr. Jamar Humphrey, the principal of Bryant Elementary School. Stand up, Jamar, and let us welcome you. <laughs> Jamar began his career as a student teacher at Dickin Elementary. Soon after he completed his internship, graduated from Eastern Michigan University, and was hired at Baugh Elementary. There he taught second and third grade for several years. Jamar also taught at the Summer Learning Institute every summer. He wanted to positively impact students on a larger scale, so he began his work in administration at King Elementary, serving as an assistant principal before becoming the associate principal of Bryant Elementary School. So it is just such a wonderful honor to welcome Mr. Jamar Humphrey as the principal of Bryant Elementary. Next, we're proud to introduce also Ms. Colette Ivey as the principal of Baugh Elementary. Ms. Ivey. Colette Ivey brings a wide range of knowledge and experience in elementary education to this leadership position. She stepped in on a moment's notice a year ago uh, when we had a need and she served a year as the interim principal at Baugh. She in the past has gained experience as an elementary principal in the Livonia Public Schools and then also with Birmingham Public Schools. In addition, she's often called upon to serve as a trainer, a coach, and a mentor for elementary principals. She began her career prior to administration as an elementary teacher, first in Lapeer and then in Livonia Public Schools. Uh, following her year as an interim, I will say that I had numerous requests from Baugh parents that she be given a strong consideration. Uh, and in fact, they reached out with overwhelming support uh, of her selection as the next principal of Baugh Elementary. Next, it is our great honor to introduce also Ms. Robin L. Coker, the a principal of Pattongill Elementary School. Ms. Coker. Ms. Coker has multiple degrees in, in educational leadership from Eastern Michigan University. And the thing that stood out to us on her resume is that she has a strong record of success in supporting high levels of student achievement. Uh, we were delighted uh, toward the end of the summer uh, when we had uh, a need to come along and discover such quality 
and a principal leader. And we, were, we are delighted to add her to our constellation of leadership stars in the Ann Arbor Public Schools. I will point out with the introduction of uh, our two principals at uh, Bryant Pattengill that Ms. Melita Alston is serving the district in the role of facilitating community work around the upcoming re-envisioning of the Bryant Pattengill community. So she is still nearby, but has really deep and wide responsibilities in the community. So we wanted to make sure that Bryant Pattengill had full support uh, during this year. Uh, it is our honor to present also this evening, Mr. Shanu Maku, the principal of Pathways academic campus. <laughs> Mr. Shanu Maku is a familiar face in the Ann Arbor community. In fact, I don't think I've met anyone who doesn't already know him. Uh, that's a wonderful thing about him. He is well known in the Pathways community also because he served a year, or almost really several months, I'll say it that way, as the interim dean of Pathways. And prior to his move into administration, many of you may not recall this, but he actually worked for eight years at Pathways as a community assistant at the school. It didn't have that name at that time, and he can straighten all that out for us, but he was there in, in support of that campus. Uh, he then moved to Skyline High School for four years before returning to Pathways last year as the ninth grade dean. Um, what I appreciate about Mr. McCoo is that he truly believes in the gifts and greatness of each and every student, and particularly of our students at Pathways Campus, and he is deeply committed to paving the way for their newfound opportunities, growth, and success. Under his leadership, I know I can already see that Pathways will become a destination school of choice uh, in the district where student needs are met in a smaller, more intimate, personal environment where students can choose and design their own programs. So we're thrilled about both the new leader and about a fresh uh, new vision there at the school. Uh, finally, it is our great pleasure and honor to present Mr. Dante A. Watson as the principal of Ainsley Elementary. Mr. Watson is also a familiar face. He has over 13 years experience as an educator in the Ann Arbor Public Schools. He began his career as a classroom teacher at Logan Elementary. I have great memories of walking through his classroom and knowing just by being there that it was a special place for children. He spent 11 years at Logan and taught grades two, three, four, and five over the course of his tenure at Logan. He moved into administration during the 2016-17 school year where he served as the assistant principal at Lawton Elementary for the past two years. Mr. Watson's practical experience as a teacher, his com demonstrated commitment in service to children alongside his strong academic performance give him a depth and breadth. It is such an honor for us to welcome him. And I recently uh, was so impressed because of his approach at Hazley Elementary and approaching that team as a family and as a community group. Um, it's just a wonderful day to have, uh, to have um, Mr. Watson as well as all four of our other principals join us as building leaders in the Ann Arbor Public Schools. You will notice, trustees, that with five, uh, we are delighted that 
This is a smaller year of transition for building leadership in the district. That's a good sign for the district and a great opportunity uh, to stabilize and support these five leaders. Uh, Ms. Don Linden, Mr. Paul DeAngelis have already been busy with them over the course of the summer, as well as the rest of our team to ensure that they have strong support on entry and strong support through those first years and all their years as leaders in the Ann Arbor Public Schools. And so with that, why don't we welcome them to the stage uh, for their photo?